Uh, what we are trying to do is uh, let students visualize the basic cultural ideas. So what I thought what would be best is to take different mind patterns from all areas of culture, high culture like history and art, um, and even something like mm, you know cultural norms, food, things like that. Uh, all those mm, areas have mm, set patterns. And when you try to identify yourself as a Russian, these are the first things that come to mind. Sometimes they're cliches, but uh, uh, they're when corrected, they come prove to be right, actually. You know, it's very funny, but it's true. So years ago, I wrote a book about that, and uh, I always thought about uh, a program, a cartoon, or something that would help my students visualize that as they read the book. Uh, eventually, I started to teach out of a different book, but it doesn't matter which book you teach. Those cultural ideas are very, you know, kind of set in the culture, and uh, they're a great supplement for any course. But when we got together with the media group, we decided that our goals would be not only <coughs> uh, showing, but also uh, accountability. So. Uh, because this mm, learning object gave me a chance to test students and also to give home assignment that's very meaningful, interactive home assignment. So mm, they first uh, see it in class, then they can see it at home, the, the learning object, and then uh, eventually when time comes I can test them. W and. Uh, it's actually, it helps me to, with testing as well, because um, the program is set up so that they can, I can get their responses through it. Um, I'm not sure how many hours we spent together, but we had several meetings, and then we mm, collaborated over um, Skype and email when I lived abroad uh, for my sabbatical year. Uh, so altogether it was mm, a long time, I think, and uh, it went quite flawless. Uh, uh, it was very uh, interesting for me to see how my visual ideas uh, began to work uh, when the media group got them, they immediately took them to the right direction because they're visual people and they could understand them. But um, we uh, work in collaboration with Hagene Hakobyan, who is our Slavic librarian, and uh, she uh, constantly provides us with library resources. So whenever uh, we can find something at the library and then it can be animated, it gives great, it's a great source, yes, it gives great ideas. Okay. It's, it's very pleasant and I would recommend it to anyone. If, uh, of course, uh, the general philosophy is uh, less visuals at the university because students have to mature and have to quit their, you know, computer, TV uh, habits and get into academic environment. But mm, we should not deny the fact that students are so visual. You know, I, I was really worried when the f I w introduced the, it the first time to my class, because I thought maybe they would think I'm kidding them. The whole learning object has a lot of humorous episodes, and mm, they loved it. One of my students wrote, this is the best homework I've ever had. <laughs> so I thought, oh. Seems like it works, and they all enjoyed it. If um, I can, I would love to do more media projects. Uh, for example, it came to my mind uh, that I could do it with Russian humor, the other course that's kind of my trademark course, if you want to 
So, uh, and uh, even do some, maybe for some eventually for my theater course. But right now we have a, a still a lot of work ahead of us uh, because we are doing history, early history, uh, and then mm, uh, modern history. And I'm also thinking about um, other aspects of culture, maybe even food that we could do. So, so we still have a whole lot to do with this um, cultural projects. But uh, again, if if I could, I would do more because I really first I really enjoy this collaboration. People are wonderful. Uh, the ideas begin to work and shine. Um, I would also I think I re would recommend it to my colleagues. And actually, uh, we, uh, I talked to my colleagues about using this, whatever we did in other courses, and I think I, they will.